year one learning objective is to double numbers up to 12. And the year two learning objective is to understand grouping as one model of division. This is the year one math section forward the video for the year two maths. Today we're looking at doubling. When we double a number, we add the same amount again. So how many sweets have I got on the screen? I've got two. And if I doubled it, I'd need to add another two. So can you work out how many I have if I double two? Double two is four. Two plus two equals four. How many sweets can you see now? What's double three? Double three is six. Three plus three equals six. I've got four sweeties now. What do I need to do to double four? What will the answer be? So I had four and to double four, I need to add another four. Double four is eight. Four plus four equals eight. Did you get that right? I think you're getting quite good at this year one. Let's try doubling seven. What will I need to do? OK, have a go. There's a lot of sweets there. I've double seven. So double seven is 14. Seven plus seven equals 14. We started off with seven and then we added another seven and the total is 14. Double seven is 14. This activity, you might need a dice or you can use your number cards from one to six. And you'll also need 12 counters or some dried beans will do. So roll the dice, look at the number on your dice and work out the double by using your beans or your counters. Write your number that you've rolled on the left and put your answer in on the right, like I've shown you on the screen. For this activity, you need to double the cubes or the clothes pegs. If it helps, you can use some counters to help you. So read the number sentence and have a go at doubling. Think about how we did it earlier. And then for an extra challenge, you could go beyond 10. So try doubling 11, 12. Ooh, do you think you could double 13 as well? Here's a double your money machine. I could really do with one of these in my house. Have a look at the coins on the screen. They go into the double your money machine and they come out doubled. So have a good go. And once you've finished, choose three different coins of your own or not the amounts that are on the sheet and have a go at doubling those. Here's an extra activity. Choose any number from between 6 to 20, and you can do this a few times, and write down the double for that number. So, for example, if you choose number 7, double it, and then write down the amount. When you get to working out the teens doubles, what you need to do is use your number facts. So, if I know that if I'm going to choose 14, I know that 10 doubled is 20, and 4 doubled is 8. Then all I need to do is add the two numbers together to make 28. So double 14 would be 28. Have a go. Here's an extra challenge for you if you want some more doubling. So match the number to its double. So on the left, we've got three doubled is six. You need to have a look at the numbers on the left and match them to the numbers on the right. So here's the year two section. Can you tell me how many red counters I've got on the screen? 
That's right, I've got 20. I wonder how many groups of five we can make. So I found one group of five. Can we make another group of five? Well, perhaps we can work out the number sentence. Something times five equals 20. That's two groups of five. I think we could probably make another one, don't you? Three groups. So we had 20 and we put them in groups of five. Do you remember how many groups? That's right, there were four groups. Four times five equals 20. We've just grouped those counters into four groups of five. And grouping is one way of dividing. Here's the division symbol. I'm going to put those 20 counters in a straight line. And we're going to do the same thing by grouping them into groups of five. So we've got one, two, three, four groups of five. Again, four times five equals 20. Here's my bead string tool. I want to find out how many groups of five are in 15. Can you help me to work it out? One, two, three. There are three groups of five in 15. Three times five equals 15. How many groups of 10 are there in 30? Pause the video and have a go. So I've lined up 30 counters again and put them into groups of 10. Let's come back to our original bead string tool. We wanted to find out how many groups of 10 are in 30. Something times 10 equals 30. But you worked it out, didn't you? There are three groups of 10 in 30. Three times 10 equals 30. Have I got 23 counters here? See so if you can count in twos, that'd be a lot quicker. So there are 23 counters. Great. Let's see how many groups of 10 we can make with 23 counters. So did you make two groups of 10? I did two. We can make two, but we've got some left over. How many have we got left over? Three. So for this activity, you're going to shuffle the question cards and then choose one and make the groups as described on the question cards. Your multiplication facts will really come in handy here. So if you know that five times two is 10, then 10 divided by two is five, well done. So use your multiplication facts and whatever else you need, you've got the beaded line to help you as well. This activity is similar to the one before, but the questions are different. Again, use the beaded line to help you and make sure that you use your multiplication facts. 